In this video of the ProDSS On Demand training series, I'll be showing you how to store your ProDSS. We define storage in two different ways. Um, Short-term storage is le anything less than four weeks, and long-term storage is over four weeks. I'll go over short-term storage first. Um, so you'll want to turn your handheld off. Um, you can leave the cable installed in the handheld. And for the sensors, you can leave those installed on the cable. And um, you can, the easiest way to do it is to fill the cow cup with about half an inch of water and then tightly secure the locking ring to ensure that that water doesn't evaporate. You don't want to submerge the pro sensors in water. Um, and we always recommend using tap water for storage as DI water can leach electrolyte out of the pH probe or the ISE probes. Um, some customers also choose to um, store their probes in buffer four, pH buffer four, all the time. I w don't recommend doing that if you have a, an ISE sensor installed on the cable, however. Um, for long-term storage, uh, you'll want to remove the cable from the ProDSS. Pro um, make sure that the handheld is nice and clean for long-term storage. And we'll remove the lithium ion battery pack from the handheld. To remove the battery pack, um, all you need to do is unplug this plug. Be sure to keep the battery pack in a, um, in a clean, dry space. We'll also replace the cover on the handheld to protect the battery compartment during storage. Now for the cable, we can store the cable dry. Um, you'll want to clean this as well before you store it long term. Um, each sensor has its own long term storage method. Uh, and I'll start with conductivity temperature. Um, we, you can leave this probe uh, installed on the cable or we, you can remove it and store it dry. Um, either way works. I'm going to remove it from the cable. And like the handheld and cable, you'll want to make sure your probes are clean for long-term storage. So whenever you remove a probe from the cable for long-term storage, you'll want to save these little red caps that were shipped with the probe to place over the probe connector um, to protect it during storage. And like I said before, conductivity, the conductivity probe can be stored dry um, in water or in um, water-saturated air, whatever you prefer and whatever's easiest for you. The next probe we'll go over is the turbidity probe. This probe can also be removed from the cable or you can leave it installed in the cable. Um, and you should store this probe dry. And with this probe, you'll also want to put the red cap on the connector. And um, one of the clear caps that was included with the probe, you'll want to install that on the very end to ensure that the, the optical face of the probe doesn't get scratched during storage. Next is optical DO. This can, be, this can also remain on the cable. Um, I'm going to remove it. Um, this probe needs to, the sensing cap needs to remain hydrated during storage. Um, you can do that by submerging the end of the, <laughs> you can do that by submerging the end of the probe in DI water or by keeping the, uh, the cap that was shipped with the probe and placing a wet sponge in the bottom of it and keeping the probe stored like this. The probe can, um, you can put one of these on the probe while, the, while it's still installed on the cable as well. And don't forget the red cap to protect the connector. Next is uh, pH and ORP. Um, this probe should always be removed from the cable. And for long-term storage, we will place this in a container filled with pH buffer four. Uh, this will ensure that the probe re remains hydrated during the uh, long-term storage period.
And this, uh, this bottle is shipped with the probe, so it's important to keep this um, after you start using the probe. Last for the probes is the ISE probes. I have a nitrate probe here. Uh, for long-term storage, you want to remove this probe from the ProDSS bulkhead and store it in one of the shipping bottles with a wet sponge in the bottom of it. You can also put it, place a small amount of the high buffer solution, so in this case it's 100 milligrams per liter um, nitrate standard, um, but you don't want to submerge the probe during long-term storage. And lastly, um, you can clean and dry the, the probe guard and cal cup. Um, and for the cable, uh, you can install uh, one of the black rubber caps that was shipped with the probe. That, this will protect the connectors on the, probe, on the cable's bulkhead. And this concludes the storage video in the ProDSS on-demand training series. Um, and put your, uh, your, uh, <laughs> you know what I forgot, realized I forgot, port plugs. <laughs>